I believe that technology has a good side to it and a very bad side to it as well. There are people earning Jannah through TikTok and there are others earning Jahannam through the same means. Imagine when you die, what would you like there to be? Many of our brothers and sisters, perhaps more so the sisters, they get a lot of excitement by showing themselves on some of these applications without realizing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu told us that there will come a time when women will want to expose themselves and they will want to turn heads of people in order to quench the the what? May Allah grant us goodness. May Allah protect us from harm. The, in order to quench the attention that they are seeking. So when you seek attention, you do some silly things. You semi-remove your clothes and you keep shaking your body and you want everyone to say, wow, great, show me more. Let's see. You are leaving a legacy. When you die, that video will remain for generations. And where are you? You are with Allah. How did it help you, my sister? How did it help you, my brother? Subhanallah. The Prophet ﷺ says that from the categories of those who will be burning in hellfire, and it's important we mention this hadith. May Allah protect us. People don't want to hear the hadith. Leave it, it's okay. We don't need to hear it. Let's talk about it, right? From among the women, those who are clothed with the intention of revealing. Oh, have you heard that? I covered myself with the intention of showing something. What are you showing? Your shape. What else are you showing? Subhanallah, the young boys are speaking. Look. What else are you showing? This is a hadith. I'm not talking of my words from my pocket. You are either wearing something too tight or too thin. It is already a prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad and you are going to leave a legacy. People are going to look at you and follow you. Never mind, your sin might be forgiven, but what about those who kept on following you after your death? We show a cleavage as though it's okay. And we say, thank you so much. When a young man who's not supposed to be looking, and by the way, you should be lowering your gaze, people say, mashallah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. What legacy are you leaving? And I'm not trying to attack the sisters because the brothers are equally guilty for adding fuel to fire by commenting in a negative way, thinking it's positive. Mashallah, subhanallah, oh, beautiful. I love it. Excellent, etc. We know what's going on in the world. 